Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is the video of mock test of chapter 2 in NISM series 15 research analyst. First question, treasury bills issued by the option A government, option B banks, option C companies and option D all of the above. Take your time to answer the question. The correct answer is option A government. What are the major uses of indices? Option A. It indicates the performance of the economy. Option B. Indices act as an underlying for index futures and options. Option C. Real-time market sentiments are indicated by indices. And option D. All of the above. The correct answer is option D. All of the above. Mutual fund closed ended scheme offers the investors an option to buy units from the fund at any time and sell the units back to the fund at any time. State whether it is true or false. The correct answer is option B, false. The large quantity of shares issue is made to select a group of people. Then it is termed as option A, private equity, option B, equity shares, option C, private placement and option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option C, private placement. Next question. While raising capital, if capital is raised from investors outside the country is called Option A, onshore offering and Option B, offshore offering. The correct answer is Option B, offshore offering. Next question. What is the process of converting securities held in physical form into holdings in book entry electronic form? Option A, bookkeeping. Option B, dematerialization. Option C, rematerialization and option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option B, dematerialization. Next question. When a trader purchases an asset cheaply in one market and to take advantage, sell it at a higher price in another market is called option A, hedging, option B, arbitrage, option C, trading and option D, speculation. The correct answer is option C, arbitrage. Pledge is an act of taking loan against securities by the investor. Then the entity who is giving the loan against securities is called option A, pledge and option B, pledge or. The correct answer is option A, pledge. What is an agreement made between two parties to exchange cash flows in the future according to a free arranger formula? Option A, options. Option B, contracts. Option C, swaps. And option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option C, swaps. Next question. Which of the following option gives the buyer the right but not the obligation to sell a given quantity of the underlying asset at a given price on or before a given date? Option A, call option. And option B, put option. The correct answer is option B, put option. Debt instruments issued by financial institutions against financial assets such as home loans, auto loans, rent receivable, credit card receivables, etc. is known as option A, commodity linked debentures, option B, equity linked debentures, option C, currency linked debentures and option D, mortgage backed securities. The correct answer is option D. Mortgage backed securities. What is an entity established or incorporated outside India that proposes to make investments in India? Option A Foreign portfolio investors, Option B Domestic portfolio investors, Option C Mutual funds, and Option D Insurance companies. The correct answer is Option A Foreign portfolio investors. Global depository receipts are referred to. Depository receipts that are allowed to traded in more than one country. Is it yes or no? The correct answer is option A. Yes. Which agency act as a legal counterparty to all trades and guarantee settlement of all transactions on the stock exchanges? Option A. Clearing corporation. Option B. Clearing banks. Option C. Merchant bankers. And option D. All of the above. The correct answer is option A. Clearing Corporation. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe for more chapters.